that, uh, that he or she has. Um, so when we talk about which stacks do we go for, we're going for the Aladine stack. You know, Aladine and Kinboy Fresh are the ones that we can really put a lot of pressure on because they're the ones that, you know, we, wow, look at that flop. I mean, this is, we fire out the C-bet and we hope that Aladine has some sort of hand If Aladdin has like a king queen or a queen jack, they're raising. Wow. That's what he asked again. When is the what? Best uh oh, something happened. What are we doing here? Aladdin, call with the king queen. Wow. Oh. Dodge and weave. What an ICM disaster for you, Aladdin. That's why you do not defend. In the big blind with 9-2 suited when you're the second stack against the chip, the chip leader. Jesus Christ. Uh, IMC. Who's IMC? ICM. Independent chip model. Oh, independent and what it basically model. means, it's basically shorthand for saying that, uh, you know, your chips change value and your stack changes value based on the, on the stage of the tournament you're in. For example, when you have 18,000 in chips and you're up against a chip leader with 24,000 in chips, ICM would suggest that you don't really want to tangle with them. Um, that's what that's basically what ICM means. ICM basically says you need to factor in uh, money jumps, and you need to factor in the fact that other people are factoring in money jumps and expecting you to factor them into your decisions pre-flop. So, uh, you know, real simple example. Let's say that uh, we're we're on. Uh, yeah, we're at the final table of the World Series of Poker main event. And uh, thank you, Dead Cow Colt. I really appreciate it. Uh, awesome. Good thing the stream is on delay. No sniperino. <laughs> right. Uh, Dead Cow Colt. Let's, let's take it down. If you're watching the stream, I definitely appreciate it. All of you guys. You know, I, maybe, I, wonder, I wonder how many of us are uh, sitting here at the final table are also sitting here chilling out with us on the stream. Let's go ahead and fire out that uh, 1100. We'll go ahead and wait until it is up to, uh, we'll go ahead and wait until it's up to like uh, 1K, 2K before we're making it a true 2X. What does Tranny Envy do? Tranny Envy, do you make it 7,000? Nah, we'll just go ahead and get out of the way. I don't blame you, buddy. I don't blame you. Wow, massive chip lead now. Massive chip lead. I'm going to go ahead and fire out a little Twitter, guys. And the, well, there's a question that Hawk um, kept, uh, asks. Again. Okay, so Hawk, what was the question? Hold on, let me find it. Because it's been a minute. Well, he was asking when was the best time to raise. Let me make sure that's the question. Hold on. But th what does that even mean? What's the question mean? When is the best time to raise? Well, I'm going to find it for you. <laughs> Give me a sec. We're trying to get the question, Hawk. Gonna, I'm gonna uh, shoot out on Twitter here. Uh, just okay. uh, made another Question final dash, table. Boy, when is it best to two raise? Two to Pairs, straight, straight flushes before the river. That's his question. So when I is it? He needs to be more specific. Yeah, I, I guess you you really would have to be you know real specific. There's no real general rules when it comes to when to raise. Uh, except because there's positions that you have to take into account. Ex except to know that, like when you're ra when you're in a tournament situation, you want to be doing a lot of pre-flop raising uh, in situations when the you know after the antes have hit. Um, I, I don't really know what else to say. So if you, had a if you have like a specific hand, I would you know I would I, I could give you more guidance uh, as as to is it a good raise, is it a good fold. A lot of it is just so situational that it's impossible to give you real, you know, real general rules that are going to apply everywhere. But uh, keep on watching the stream, and you're going to see a lot of spots where I let go of big hands and push small hands, and hopefully, it's the new button raise, oh, everybody. Uh, you were in the final table, did you know that? I did. <laughs> oh, nice. Brazil says hi in the Brazil. Lasher eights says, "What's up from Brazil?" Black 
Did we get through Yumius? I've heard that Yumius tries to snipe streams. Really, Yumius? Are you really trying to snipe streams? Probably not. He's not. He, he's here. Is he? he Did he say hi? Earlier. Yeah, he said hi. He says that Butters doesn't Six, like him. seven, eight, he nine. Said, he said Butters hates him. Fire out that C bet, that auto C bet that you would expect us to do. Yumius makes the call. And now we've got the Nine of Spades coming out. We can kind of punish Yumius uh, if we so chose. Let's just go ahead and see another turn and see another river and see if maybe... Uh, I just don't see us ever getting Yumius to fold an ace here or a jack. So well played, Yumius. You took a lot of heat. Um, thank, you for the, uh, thank you for the free river. It would have been nice to... Uh, to crack you, <laughs> but look, man, uh, it's, it's always kind of cool to be final tabling with uh, other viewers of the stream. So that definitely would have though been one of those situations when, when people are asking about ICM, what do they mean? Well, they mean that they mean, uh, what do we do here, guys? I I think that we want to go ahead and see all five cards. We want Gravity One Nine One to go ahead and put the rest of the stack in uh, with the Ace Queen with the Jack Nine suited. Um, that's not the flop we're looking for. That's not the turn we're looking for. God, gravity 191. These are the kind of ICM mistakes that we're talking about. Um, it's not a good idea to raise half your stack uh, in we that spot. Have chips in this table. Oh, I'm, we're crushing it, but so far we're also kind of going the wrong way. Wait a minute. He's going the wrong way. I don't know if you guys ever saw that... Uh, that old footage of that college football game where the guy takes the touchdown into his own uh, his own end zone. One of the one of my favorite things. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the Twitterverse. If everyone folds to us, we are raising here. Might as well. We've got Yumius firing out the one one three. I almost feel like just punishing him, but we'll go ahead and wait. You know what? We've been we've been pretty active so far. Let's go ahead and lower our VPIP until we get down to about. Until we lose, until we lose at least one guy, maybe two. We don't really need to be busting out the whole table. We'll keep our VPIP strong, but a lot of these guys are looking at their stacks, thinking, "Got to make a move, got to make a move." So we'll go ahead and get out of their way. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll stay. With, you know, we'll go with that theory of don't attack a drowning stack. They're all drowning. Uh, let's go ahead and let them go ahead and bust each other out until we get down to about seven or six, and then we'll start uh, showing. We'll start giving a little clinic on how you play the big stack. Uh, what was that guy who we just played with earlier? Who, uh, Charisma 101, I think, where we saw how not to do it. And I wrote an article for All In Magazine that's going to be uh, get coming out in the next, art uh, the next uh, issue. It's called, uh, it's called, the, um, well, they changed the titles, but the, what I called it was Implicit Collusion and the Jungle Rule. And I talk a little bit about how to handle this type of stack in this type of position. And basically what you want to do is you want to push down the bigger stacks at the table while kind of leaving alone the smaller stacks. The idea being that when it finally gets, you know, when, when the, the tournament is finally over, everyone is sitting there with like one big blind in front of them while you have all of the stat, all of the chips. Um, so we want to keep on basically really abusing the bigger stacks at the table. That means we're coming after Ken Boy Fresh, we're coming after Yumius, we're coming after Gravity 191. And we're going to put them in the awkward spot of, are, do they really want to go out ninth? Um, uh, you know, a double up doesn't really guarantee them anything. <sighs> but really the pressure starts mounting at, you know, at that bubble. So our VPIP should be going down a little bit, even though we are this huge, huge stack, even though we have more than double the next contender, which is Yumius, uh, which gave us all the all that free equity with the, uh, the Queen 10. Thank you for that. Uh, I definitely don't uh, fault you for making those, making those calls with the ace high and then pairing your ace. So... <laughs> Vernon D. Vax, good to see you in the chat, buddy. Good to see you too, Grateful Mouse. Love you guys. Subscribers, you guys are the best. Let's take a look. Do we have the Dutch tilt yet? Not yet. Dutch tilt, soon to come. 
<laughs> Dutch tilt soon to come. Yep. Kenny, you can. Kenny, you can. Uh, we are the chip leader. G heeb, you thought about hiding your cards? Nah, they're not going to be able to snipe us. Uh, we've got a, a long enough delay that I'm not too worried about about that. RTK Budo? Did I say RTK I think so. Yumius. <laughs> You're welcome. F I C M L O L. Good to see you, Yumius. Oh, yeah? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you so much. After we're done doing this, we'll probably end up playing that all yeah, we probably will. After we eat. So what, we've been going for eight hours straight, guys. Yeah, Thank you so much for joining us. We got 464 people watching oh, Yumi, as we Yumi are. Is right here. Yeah, I see. Yeah, Yumius, yeah. shout out. Yumius, you know what? You're going to get the shark. Of course, we're going to give you the shark. We got to give all of the uh, all the people watching this stream this shark. So Dead Cow Colt, you get a shark. Yumius, you get a shark. If anybody else here at the final table is watching the stream, please go ahead and identify yourself. We will change your bony fist to a shark, Asian guy aces, Ken Boy Fresh, Wage three, you know, Wag three, Reno. Um, <laughs> yeah, Yumius, I come to play. I like where you're sitting, though. I, you know what, I'm liking where I'm sitting too. If I knock you out in seventh, no hard feelings. Just uh, uh, I see him it up, buddy. I see him it up. Think a second. <laughs> think, think a third. Think a third. Okay, it's the new button raise. Come on, Yumius. Come on, Yumius. Where's the best place to play PLO sit and go? I don't know. Butters says, he says I berate other players. Man, that's some hearsay. He said, she said stuff. I like Butters' uh, stream, Yumius. I, I hope that you agree. It's, you Is know, Butters not here? No. Oh. He's not in here right now. I like to call him Maju. What do we think about this? Not a horrible, horrible flop. We'll go ahead and fire out a half pot size bet and hope that Gravity One or Yumius doesn't come over the top of us. I mean, it's going to be kind of awkward. Um, yeah, very, very awkward call here. But of course, we've got a call. Of course, we've got a call because we've got this four outer. Um, very frustrating. Very frustrating. Do you have a favorite? Almost, almost grudge called you there, Yumius, because of course you're sitting here with some stupid like ten eight of diamonds. I'm probably actually even an equity favorite there. Very frustrating. Did you just lose something? Um, yeah, you just lost something. We're still chip leader, and we're still just kind of going the wrong way. Hey, Thank you, Iron Fist. I appreciate uh, appreciate you. Um, who's your um, favorite streamer? The constructive criticism. Well, now I would have to say it's Big Dog Pocket Fives. <laughs> <laughs> Big Dog, Big Dog Big Pocket Dog. Fives. It'd have to be Big Dog. It would have to be my favorite streamer now. Uh, he is. He's really awesome. He's a really good streamer. Of course, I love Jay Carver. I think that he's great. Jay Carver is pretty good. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think that his stream is great. What's that? Sticky Rice. Sticky Rice 1 is awesome. Jimmy Longo. I like Jay, Jimmy, uh, I like Jay Longo, Poker. Um, that's about it. So, uh, yeah, Iron Fist, thank you for the uh, thank you for the uh, constructive criticism. I know that you're not trying to just troll. I know that you actually think that this is a flaw. So I'm gonna actually read it. I'm gonna think. I'm gonna see what you think, Iron Fist. I really love your philosophy, but the only flaw in your game I see is that you you. It's actually you apostrophe R E Iron Fist, but that's a part. <laughs> Don't I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't. I couldn't. I couldn't uh, resist just because you, you're you're poking poking into my armor. Don't poke that spot right there. Is that you're not capable of enough gamble? Um, you're right. Let's max it up. <laughs> you know, not really. Uh, it's not the right move for him to make, but it wasn't the wrong one. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't know. I feel like you need to be capable of gambling to a certain extent in really thought out spots. To be the best, it seems like the absolute highest level. I don't really know. I don't really know, Iron Fist, 
which hand you were talking about. Is Dead Cow uh, Colt watching this too? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Dead Cow's uh, Dead Cow Colt's watching. He talked about the stream. He said, good thing the stream is on delay, lol. Oh, no way. Yeah, so also about that whole why did I fold the king-queen against the nine big blind shove? Well, it's because we don't really want to... Uh, let's go ahead and re-raise here. We don't, you know, we don't mind keeping the small stacks in. I mean, of course we want to go ahead and take them out. Dodge that 10. Dodge that ace. Come on. There we go. I mean, we're not going out of our way to keep anybody in, but uh, we also don't really need to be taking unnecessarily ga unnecessary gambles against the shortest stacks of the table because what we want is to keep the pressure on, and this is when the pressure is on. This is when we are able to go ahead and exert maximum pressure against the stacks that aren't drowning, gravity, Ken Boy Fresh. You know, it's a huge ICM disaster for any of these guys to get knocked out right now. Uh, we're sitting here on the pure money bubble. Six of us gets paid. One of us just gets a kick in the balls. You know, th these are the, are the times when Yumius and Gravity and Kinboy Fresh, Dead Cow Colt, Wag3 Reno really should be staying out of our way. Um, you know, whether they actually do stay out of our way, who knows? Uh, obviously, Yumius has been playing back at us a hell of a lot. Um, Gravity191 made that really weird move with a Jack-9 suited where he shoved half of his... Uh, half of his stack into us, which I don't really like. I don't really like because I feel like he might as well just shove the whole thing with the kind of stack that he had. Um, yeah, I, I, who Phil Helmuth is talking about? Who? I'm not. I'm not sure who we're talking about, but I will say this. I will say this. I'm pretty uh, Iron Fist. I, I, I do recognize that every poker player has flaws in their game. No one plays perfectly. Uh, I'm pretty comfortable with my own tournament game. I do I feel know, like I take a home. lot of gamble. Still home with this Come on, Yumius. Oh, don't make that limp in the small blind. How can you make Yumi's that limp? limp? Of course. But it's not an open limp. Uh -oh, just... It's not an open limp. Wow. Yumi's... And look at you. Look at you, Yumius. Firing out that quick check, going for that quick check raise. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see what happens. He makes the call. Fires out again. We'll go ahead and fire out a, another half pot size bet. We're going to probably be done with it right here, right now, if Yumius, uh, you know, re, you know, check raises or folds. But, I don't know, there's something psychological about having more than 20k and having less than 20k, so... Let's see what he does. Wouldn't surprise me. I mean, we'll see. We probably got him off of... Uh, we, we probably weren't even bluffing. He probably had like the old 10-8, 10-9, you know. Let's see. Six nine off suit. We got Ken Boy Fresh coming in with a three X. Hey, stupid one six two two. Good night, stupid one. Thank you for joining us on the uh, on the stream, stupid one six two two. Definitely appreciate it. Really appreciate you spending your night with us, stupid one six two two. Thank you, stupid. Why why do I think that's so funny? Jesus. Okay, what do we do here? Oh, this is a tough one. Gravity191 coming in with a min raise. Uh, yeah, let's, you know what? We don't really need to three bet it here. Let's just go ahead and make a call and see what happens. If if, uh, if, if, if he gives up the pre-flop aggression, we're probably going to go ahead and... Or, you know, you know we, could, we could just flop trips. Why not? Let's just flop trips. This is going to be, uh, this is going to be kind of a disaster for Gravity191. Uh, he gives up the aggression. We can go ahead and fire out, you know, an 1800 here and probably just take it. Uh, there's a decent argument here for just, uh, you know, <laughs> s slow playing this hand. But I also feel like just, you know, 
just giving him any sort of excuse to shove his whole stack into us is not so bad either. Uh, what do we think? What do we think about eight seven offsuit guys? I think I think it looks pretty good. I mean, we don't really want to uh, bust ghost. We don't. We're not trying to uh, attack the drowning stack here, but at the same time. I mean, if he shoves here for 4,100 more, we're probably going to make the fold, actually. Against another player, against Dead Cow, against Wage, we would actually think about making the call if we were getting like a like a 1.5 or 2-to-1 uh, you know, price. Against Ghost, though, I feel like we have some value at this table and this spot with our stack in keeping Ghost and Dead Cow Colt actually in. Uh, so we're not going to really go out of our way to be attacking these two blinds. We're attacking Ken Boy Fresh. We're attacking uh, you know Wage Wage Arena. We're attacking Gravity One Nine One. Uh, we're attacking definitely attacking you, Yumius. You can believe we're coming after you because God, what an equity disaster is it for you to go from twenty one k to zero at this point? Uh, but we're not trying to attack the drowning stacks here. Uh, Gravity 191 and Kimboy Fresh, these are the guys we come after. Look at the lobby. Look at where we we're at. Pays six, right? The biggest difference in the tournament is you know that that big money jump between nothing and something. Uh, we're at we're at that inflection point, and this is really when we need to just be raising almost every hand. We make that uh, you know a little bit more than two x big blind raise and, and just see what happens and uh, hopefully not get exposed with really really weak holdings but okay come on Yumius you've had enough you've had enough I know you've had enough we're making it 1700 if he check raises us um, what do we do to a check raise here I don't know man and he just sits out. I'm sorry, Yumius. I'm going to have to... Probably should have made that min bet a little quicker. Uh, that's always rough when when you lose to a sit-out. But we probably had the best hand, right, Yumius? We probably had that one. Yeah, Iron Fist. I took. I honestly took it as constructive criticism. I honestly did. We're gonna go ahead and make the call here. I don't hate Umius's, um raise here. I almost just want to max it and just be like, you know what? You want to go ahead and make the call? Go for it. Uh, but we won't. We're just gonna go ahead and make a call. Play a pot. We've got position on him. Three and a half to one. Uh, let's go ahead and make the call again. Of course we're floating here, Yumius 01. Of course we have nothing. Of course we don't have top pair. This is kind of getting a little scary and a little bit sketchy, you guys. Uh, sure, we'll make the call. That's good because now we don't have to worry about Queen Jack. Uh, we still have to worry about, still have to worry about the old King Ten. Um, I mean, and, and we don't have kicker problems now, right? So, yeah, let's just put him to it. Put him to it. I think that if we're beat there, he actually fires out. Um, maybe it's one of those spots where instead of just going for the throat and saying, you know, you, you want to play, then put them all in. Maybe we're better off. Maybe we're better off like betting like a third of his pot and just and just like making him so frustrated that he's gonna have to fold to like a nothing bet there. Uh, but good fold, Yumius. I mean, we were ahead. I gotta think that we were ahead there with the top pair. And uh, maybe we sucked out on you. You know, maybe you maybe uh, that that river was good for us. I'm gonna I'm gonna say no. We probably didn't. This is where we want to be, though, guys. Look, Humius, you're looking good here. You're looking, you know, you're still second place. That's that's the the fucked up thing about ICM is you're sitting here with 14k. Uh, doubling up doesn't really change your equity that much, but getting knocked out does. 
Uh, so I'll take, of course, I'll take turns with like the, the bigger stacks if they want to start taking turns with me. Um, don't attack a drowning stack. Don't attra you know if you, if you attack a drowning stack with four high, expect it to get looked up. A nice move, dead cow colt. That was probably one of the only spots where you're going to have fold equity. I'll give you a little bit of uh, you know a tip if you're watching dead cow cold. Is he also going to have fold equity against my big blind? If you shoved for five thousand into you know my sixty three thousand, uh, I'm not going to snap call you, and it doesn't have anything to do with the shark on on your name. It doesn't have anything to do with the fact that you're watching the stream. It has everything to do with the fact that I want to keep the short stacks in. I want gravity. I want ghost. I want dead cow colt to stay in the game at this point. Because as long as you guys are in, I can exert max pressure on Ken Boy Fresh and Yumius. And this is what we're trying to do, is we're trying to push down the big stacks, leaving the small stacks alone, until eventually they're all short stacks. This is what we want to see. And what do you guys do? You know, what does Yumius do if he's, you know, in this spot where we're raising, you know, his big blind? Um, nothing. There's nothing you can do because it's an ICM disaster for you to get knocked out at this point. You're making a big mistake trying to double through me. Um, you, you, you really are. So what do we do here? We're getting three to one. I mean, we, we have to bust him out eventually. We don't really mind getting exposed with the ace four. I don't love it, but let's just hope that he has like pocket sixes instead of, um, you know, a hand that dominates us. Now, if we were able to actually get a five or an eight, we, we love it. Uh, okay, nice hand there, Ghost. Way to get it in good. Way to wait and wait and wait. And finally, uh, find the hand that almost made you the bubble boy. Uh, we're okay with it. Okay, guys. Here we are, guys. This is it. We have... Uh, oh, wow. Ace-five diamonds is what Yumi is, is claiming with that king-queen. Um, Jack-three-three. Three. Of course, that makes sense. Uh, lots of outs. I almost let you get there. Are you calling anything? Yumius on the end. So look, guys, we will be right back. Got to get a little bit of uh, blood flowing. We are an obscene chip leader here. I think that we've got 24, 34, 38, 48. We've got more than the rest of this, the table combined. This is exactly where we want to be. Let's, uh, let's bring it home, boys. Let's make this happen. Another final table, another money finish, two for two at the World Series of Poker right here in Vegas. Thank you guys so much uh, for joining us. We'll be right back. We are back with one minute, 23 seconds to go. Let's look at the lobby. We have seven players Did you left. Did there's a bounty on, on Yumias? No, Yumias? I didn't see. Did you slow roll them and record it? No. Yes, 
Butters will give us 50 seals <laughs> with club chips. But what am I going to do with Seals with Clubs chips? I don't play on Seals with Clubs. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like SWC. Hey, uh, no, defaults? we're not going to. We're not no, going to be slow so rolling rude. anybody. Um, I'm not saying it's, it's never happened, but uh, we like Yumius. We don't want to. We don't want to knock Yumius out. We want to go. We want to get heads up with Yumius. You know, we want Yumius to get second to us. Um, but I'll. You know what? If the situation presents itself. <laughs> Yeah, we'll just slow roll you. We'll give you uh, the chips. You want you want in on that, Yumius? You wanna you wanna split that? <laughs> we'll record it and then give it to Yumius. Okay, so we're almost back. Twenty seven seconds left in this tournament. We are a massive chip leader. Uh, we saw the lobby. We see that one of us does not get paid. The rest of us is going to get something. Question. Do you want to answer that really quick? Um, He's asking about this villain. Greg Noble, go home. You're drunk. Go home, Greg. <laughs> what do we got? Blinds, 200,000, 400,000. He's asking, he's asking about a Big Dog Pocket Fives hand. Oh. Where Big Dog Pocket Fives, uh, three bet to a King Jack suited. And then the small blind, big blind. The villain flats top. And, you know, flop is four, five, seven with two diamonds. The villain opens shoves. Um, I mean, I don't hate it. It looks like he thought that he was a favorite with his overcards and flush draw. Um, you know, if he could go back and change it, he probably would because it sounds like it's one of those spots where he lost. We'll go ahead and fold this. It's one of those, this is kind of a funny spot, right? We don't, uh, we don't really mind gravity 191 sticking around. It allows us to keep on exerting pressure on these other stacks. So we don't really need to go out of our way to bust him just yet. Uh, I don't know. I, I think it's okay. It's a, it's it's okay, Greg Noble. He definitely would rather be the one shoving there, so that he has a little bit of fold equity. And we fold here too. Okay, what do we have? Um, An announcement from Exum Wa. In less than I think it's thirty days. In less than sixty days, according to this Guardian. Okay. The Congress must end the mass NSA surveillance with the next Patriot Act vote. So. People should look and see what they need to do to make sure it doesn't pass again. Okay. Okay, so okay. He says. we're going to go ahead and exert some pressure on the sure. Wager Reno. Uh, not that great of a flop for our five high. Uh, very scary flop, really, but what do we do? If the flop scares you, it scares them too. Wager Reno, do you have the ace? No. So we're able to go ahead and pick up some free equity there from you know the, the bigger stacks, one of those bigger stacks that we're trying to push down. And it, it's such an equity disaster. You know, Wager Reno, you did nothing wrong. It's Shun such... Right. I did, yeah. It's such an equity disaster to let yourself get knocked out at this point of the tournament. Uh, we'll go ahead and fold that. Fold the old 5-7 off. Uh, I'm gonna go to the I'm gonna go to the Twitters. Let's go to the let's go to the internets. The 140 character uh, site that everyone loves. Um, massive chip leader in our uh, second final table of the night. Feeling the W coming. Come watch come watch live on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Dutch Boyd. Pound poker, please retweet if you are enjoying the stream. We'll go ahead and make it 1700. Queen 10 offsuit isn't exactly a horrible hand to get exposed with if Dead Cow Colt does make the shove. Um, and let's take a look at uh, let's check let's take a look at the emails. We got uh, spam from Zachary F inviting us to a site called Sparked. Um, we also have the that's about it, isn't it? Go ahead and make this fold, guys. We don't need to be doing it every single hand. And I kind of want to just spend a little time going over the Twitter, giving some shout-outs where we need to. Oh, look at this. Ah, dead cow colt. Dead cow colt. Moment of silence for dead cow colt. Okay, so we are in the money. Uh, sorry to see you go. If you're watching it, uh, if you're if you're watching the stream, Dead Cow Colt, we were definitely always rooting for the the viewers. Wager Reno, come on, don't say congratulations right after the guy gets knocked out. He's still looking. He's still looking. <laughs> it's kind of like we just, the money breaks as soon as the guy gets knocked out. Just let him walk away first. Uh, 
Later, wa wig. <laughs> later, wag. Later, wager Reno. Yes, later. Okay, so now we've got uh, a little bit of an inflection point burst, right? Now we've got uh, all of these guys kind of feeling like the money bubble burst. So let's go ahead and try to win it now. Uh, Ken Boy Fresh shoving there with his 11 big blinds over a Wagerino raise. I, I don't blame him for that. Who is the drowning stack? Well, that'd be Wagerino. Uh, we can go ahead and not try to get his big blind necessarily. We're trying to go ahead and uh, go after Gravity 191. Um, go after Ken Boy. Go after Yumius. Uh, if gravity keeps on coming over at us with these, you know, with these you know, very liberal VIP, VPIP raises, we might go ahead and put them to a test right here. Uh, ghost, we will give this one up to you. Give it up to the ghost and see what these two small stacks do to each other. See, I'm never doing that. <laughs> if Wagerino were to limp and I was in ghost position, I'm, I'm putting my stack in. I'm going to go ahead and try to get that 2200, which is you know almost a third of your stack with no risk. Uh, what would we have done here? Well, we would have opened. We would have probably got them both to fold. What did Ghost have? We can see. We can see because we have a special superpower where we get to see the last hand. He had 5-7 offsuit. So. Uh, here we go ahead and make it 1700. And we'll see what Ken Boy Fresh does. Makes the shove. We're getting one and a half to one to make the call. Uh, folding kind of takes away credibility, but I also think that we're at least a two to one dog. I don't think that Ken Boy Fresh is making this move with King Queen off. He might be. He might be making it with smaller pocket pairs under an eight. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and make the fold there. It's a pretty tight nitty fold, but. Uh, I don't know. I think that. What was the website you were recommending for new players to learn? Um, pocket Pocket Fives. Pocket fives okay. Tournament Poker Edge is a big dog Pocket Fives site. I definitely recommend Tournament that. Poker Edge. Yep. Uh, poker X Factor. I'd have to, you know, I'd be remiss if I didn't uh, suggest my own, you know, teams site. I'm part of the Check Shove Poker team, so I would recommend going to CheckShovePoker.com. Uh, there's some good, uh, good, uh, good videos by some up and coming players. Uh, Tyler, uh, Hunter, they'll give some uh, pretty good advice. Wow, Ace Two of Diamonds. We'll go ahead and make the uh, the raise here. We'll make the raise. We don't love it, but it's the new button raise. And Yumius, we have you beat. We have the better hand. Uh, of course, we fire out here. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well, let's see what he does. Does he fire out the 10K? Yes, he does. And, of course, we have to call. We have to grudge call you, buddy. I'm sorry, but we are going to get there. Uh, we'll just go ahead and... We'll go ahead and give you credit for having some sort of bullshit pair there. Next time, my friend. Next time, we will be there with you. And next time, we will um, have the two pair. Um, wow. What are you doing, Yumius? What are you doing here? You know what? Screw it. If you're slow playing, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and double you up. I just don't want to do it. Joe Peters says, "Take it down, Dutch." Thank you very much, Joe Peters. I hope that you're watching the stream. We got a couple of favorites here. Harry Styles, thank you. Followed Joe Peters, Greg Noble, and TwitchStreams.org went ahead and gave us a little bit of a favorite on our last tweet. Thank you guys for that. And uh, Joe Peters, thank you for the uh, the, the good luck wish. Uh, we got a couple of other new followers over at Twitter. We got some retweets. We got Joe Peters and Greg Noble giving us the retweet. Love. Thank you so much. It means a lot. Okay. I kind of feel like we can uh, see a flop with Yumius here. We can also just pot it and put him to the test. We'll go ahead and fold. We'll go ahead and play it like a little girl. You can have a turn. Of course you can have a turn, Yumius. Um, Kenboy Fresh. We'll go ahead and make the raise. Um, does Kenboy Fresh just keep on shoving over the top of us at this point? Is Kenboy Fresh going to let himself go out in sixth place with a really weak hand? Maybe. 
We got Roland Roly on Twitter saying, want to see Dutch Boyd crushing at WSOP.com, no limit hold and final table? That's a great, that's a, that's a really great tweet, man. Thank you very much for the support. Thank you for the support. That means a lot to me. We got uh, some other favorites here. We got Eric Raskin giving us a favorite. We got Jason Speck, Stephen Light, Ruan Sheepers, Ninja Puffin One. Thank you very much for the favorite. And Nick, uh, we met. Nick, we met. Thank you very much. James DeBear making all the WSP Com final tables. That Twitch, that Twitch Poker Equity. That's right, buddy. I don't understand how I'm not following you yet. Um, it says that I wasn't. So, okay, we'll go ahead and make the raise here, Yumius. Yeah, you must be getting tired of us raising your, your big blind with nothing. Of course, you should probably make that shove with the ace-10 off there. Make the shove with jack-10 off suit, Yumius. Of course, we have nothing. We never have it. Um, Jason Speck, second for $177. Jason, second isn't losing. Second is winning. Frame it right. Got to frame it right. Wow, look at Gravity coming in with that min bet. Ho, oh, ho, ho. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, let's fucking do it. Let's do it. Sitting there with the old 4-2 offsuit. Yumi is sitting here with the better hand, and he knows it. He knows it, but at the same time, it's such an equity disaster just to let himself blow up right like that. It's just... Uh, you know, even when he's ahead, he's not that far ahead. He's going to have to fade, and then he's going to double up, and he's not even really going to have that big of an equity boost when he doubles up. He's got a lot of chips. You know, Yumius, you're you know, very squeezy, Dutch. Of course it's very squeezy. I know it's transparent. I know it's transparent, but what are you going to do? You know, if I'm in your spot and I've got like the old king-queen offsuit, I'm not loving it. I'm mucking it. I'm, I'm looking at the 4-2 the off, and I'm like, whoa, come on. I know that I have you beat. But I don't really feel like taking a 60-40 flop here. Let's go ahead and not give them an opportunity to come over the top of us. You have no fold equity, so you know, we don't really feel like having to call. Um, yeah. The old ace-4 offsuit. Ken Boy Fresh, do you have fold equity? If we make it 2,000 and you, then you call the one, so 4,100, we got 2,163 coming from Umius. Going to the number pad, Yumius. I can't, I can't really say I, I like going to the number pad. Um, I know fourteen thousand looks pretty, but uh, I think you're better off uh, making your pre-flop raises standard. Wow, that's going to be hard to catch up to. And Wager Reno is waiting and waiting and waiting. Finally sees the hand he's looking for, the Ace Rag, and says, "This is my spot." That's how you uh, almost get knocked out in sixth, Wager Reno. I, I don't blame you. I mean, you gotta you gotta do something, right? You gotta do something. And what do we do here if one of these guys shoves? Gravity one nine one. If you shove, we snap you. We snap call you. So, uh, Kenboy Fresh. I don't know what we would do. Uh, and Wager Reno. I don't know what we would do. It's nice not to have to make those tough decisions. Phil Helmuth wants a shout out for staying up so late. <laughs> uh, Phil Helmuth, you can always have a shout out. <laughs> Phil Helmuth, how cool would it be if it was the true, the real Phil That'd be Helmuth? Really funny, actually. It would be really funny. It would be really funny. Okay, so eight five off suit. Of course, this is a call, right? Of course, we're getting two to one. No, it's not a call. You leave the short stack in. You let Ghost in because we want to keep the tension high we want these people looking down and thinking this is hopeless this is hopeless what do we do um nice shove there yumius with the 10 big blind stack uh that's a, a nice way to go broke <laughs> nice way nice way to get snap called by either one of us with uh with better we'll go ahead and let those let those small stacks uh scramble around for the uh the beans here uh, and look at this tension. I mean, we've got more than the rest of the table combined. If you're, if if you're these guys, I mean, you're looking at you're looking at second, and it's looking pretty good. Um, I mean, we don't really love the fact that one of these guys is going to double through the other. Uh, if we had to choose, we probably are going to have Ghost double through Reno instead of Reno Wage Reno. 
uh, putting the bad beat on him. It's always sad to see somebody get knocked out uh, to a bad beat like that. And we've got Gravity191. Now instead of betting half his stack and uh, being forced to make the call, now he just goes ahead and fires out the whole stack. I can't, can't really understand what you're doing, Gravity, but I'm sure it makes sense in your head. I'm not saying that you don't know what you're talking about. I'm just saying that I don't know what you're talking about. Did you show the um, lobby for a while? Yeah, let me go ahead and load up that lobby for you. Who was asking for that? <laughs> Dan Rule. Shout out to you, Phil. You the real MVP. Thank you very much. All of you guys, thanks for staying up with us. Man, 550 people watching Twitch watching a WSOP.com final table uh, at 3.14 in the morning here in Las Vegas. Who knows what time it is over there. Uh, we've got a good hand. We've got a hand that we're probably going to play, the old queen five offsuit. Mmm. So tempting. So tempting. We'll give it up to Wager Reno. I feel like our VPIP has been very, very low these last few hands. Uh, definitely going to be raising Wagerino's big blind if everyone folds to us. Uh, might even re-raise if Yumi fires out one of those weird 2,388 bets. What do you do, Yumi Nope, just shoves it all in. I don't blame you. I'm not going to try to go out of my way to bust you out with the old King-9 off suit. Even when we're ahead, we're probably behind. Um... Leave it, to, leave it to our peers here. Blinds going up. Pretty good spot. If you shove mm -hmm. Yumius, you're getting called. Got to gotta start eliminating some people sometime. So, uh, yep. It's a call. Good luck. Us. Come on, king, queen, miss. Dodge and weave, dodge and weave, dodge and weave. Fist bump, Yumius. To those about to die, we salute you. Um, you. You played like a champ. You played with grit and guts. And no one should... Uh, no one can blame you for uh, for shoving there with a king-queen offsuit. You got lucky to have, you know, one of us wake up with a hand where we're going to call and be ahead. So, uh... Okay, guys. 80K against these three shorties. We're, you know, once again... What is the, the strategy here? The strategy is to uh, attack the bigger stacks uh, and don't attack the drowning stacks. Don't attack a drowning stack. We're going to be attacking uh, Wager Reno anytime it's you know folded to us. Uh, we'll go ahead and just max it. We'll, we won't worry about fold equity. Uh, wow, what are you doing? What are you doing, Wager Reno? Jesus Christ, what a fucking retard this guy. How does he make that hold? How does he make that hold? God. Okay, sorry, Wagerino, if you're in the chat. I, I just don't like it. I don't like the call there. I think it's just a disaster. It's a really bad call. The reason it's such a bad call is because you were in second place anyway. Now, does your equity really go up that much up? No. There's a huge, huge difference between you know fourth and second. Right now, your goal should have been making it, you know, been to make it heads up, and anything could happen at that point. Uh, when you make the call with king queen off suit, I guess you're hoping that maybe I have a you have a dominating position. Maybe, nope, you don't have a dominating position there. Instead, you are looking at a 60-40 race. And wow, look at you! Look at you just go! Look at you just go with the pocket aces, getting it in there with gravity one nine one. This is looking like it's going to happen. It's looking like we're going to probably be getting heads up against Wade Arena. Once again, our strategy here is not to go after the drowning stack. Our strategy is to be going after Wade Arena. Uh, but he has too many chips now at this point for us to really be making these open shoves. So we'll see what happens. We still are in pretty good shape. And uh, we're still looking at Wade Arena's stack. He should be folding most of his, most of his hands to us at this point. We will stay away from Ken Boy, go after Wagerino. Stay away from the drowning stack, go for the bigger stack. Oh, 
64,000 versus these guys. Really appreciate you guys uh, staying awake with us. We got 560 people um, waiting for the, the meltdown, which I just don't think is going to happen. I think that we're looking at a win here, guys. I think that we are looking at a W. Man, we've been gone for a long time. We were gone for a week, and then we just come back swinging, just hitting it out of the park. Coming back, two final tables, two in the monies, out of two. Um, and we're trying to play this as best we can, trying to, you know, you know, play this as a skill game, not feeling like a victim to the cards, waiting for the spots that present themselves. Uh, we don't need to be raising with Ace Three off suit against Ken Boy Fresh's big blind. Uh, eventually, we'll be going heads up with one of these guys. And when we do, what we'd really like to see happen is for you know both of these guys just keep on getting pushed down and pushed down and pushed down. Eventually, we get heads up and we've got like a ninety thousand, you know, to two thousand. Uh, what would it be? We got 47,047, 110k in play. And this is going to be a disaster if uh, Wage Arena just shoves, because we'd probably make the call, figuring that we're ahead and basically flipping for uh, flipping for the tournament right there. We got a favorite from Alex Dreyfus. That's pretty cool. Thank you, Alex. Sporting, you know, trying to sportify poker here on Twitch. Uh, Alex is the uh, you know, the man behind Winamax, the man behind the uh, the GPI, Global Poker Index. He's recently hosted those American Poker Awards down there in L.A. and in Europe, uh, along with the American Poker Awards Conference, which, in my opinion, was uh, worth going to. So, yeah, mm -hmm. Wager Reno, you're playing it right. We've got some more mentions here. Uh <laughs> We actually have Alex Dreyfus sitting here in chat. Definitely would be cool if uh, if you felt like saying hello. Oh, you guys are the best. Waffy, fist bump, fist bump. Welcome to the crew, buddy. Thank you so much for the subscribe. I can't tell you how much that, that means to me. Um, thank you so much. So, Waffy, we're going to go ahead and ship you that complimentary copy of Poker Tilt as your subscriber perk. And... Uh, you know, besides all the cool emoticons that you get and all the you know warm fuzzy feeling about supporting you know content that you're enjoying, uh, we are going to uh, try to be rolling out so many cool subscriber benefits for you that it's it's just going to be ridiculous. So thank you so much for the uh, for the subscribe, and uh, I, I really can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Let's go ahead and you know what, a seven offsuit is good enough where we're going to go ahead and take a stab at Ken Boy. I don't really feel like we can fold. We've got to eventually bust him. So let's. Win this flip, dodge and weave, dodge and bah, fuck, bah, 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 bah. Arr, Ken, bo Arr, Ken boy, no, no, this is not what we're trying to do. <sighs> Waffy, I'm gonna tell you something. I would feel really upset right now if it weren't for the fact that we just got a sub from you. You really are salvaging the situation, making me feel better. Ken boy, what are you doing? Fuck you. Hold. God damn it. How does this? There we go. Dodge and weave. No jack. No. Ah, head explodes. <laughs> pretty soon, guys. Pretty soon, we are going to have that Dutch tilt button. Jesus Christ, you guys. Are you out? No, no, no. no. We're not out. But our uh, we just lost two really big coin flips. Both coin flips. I say coin flips. It's actually a 60-40 and a 55-45. Uh, nope. Okay. Didn't drop any, any frames. Pretty brutal. Pretty brutal. I just like am, am still just kind of in shock here. We've got these guys just getting it in bad and getting there. And it's so frustrating. If you guys are here, you know, some of you guys are probably here for the meltdown instead of watching the win. And if that's the case... You know, we're seeing it right now. Jesus, what is this guy doing? What is this guy doing? Mm. And he just check raise shoves us. I mean, I don't know what hands we should be calling here with. I mean, a six is basically the same thing as like queen five. Uh, top pair no kicker is about the same as second pair top kicker. 
I feel like a lot of times we're ahead, but whatever. Whatever. You know, this guy loves to sh overship it, and uh, we're going to go ahead and let him overship in the wrong spot. A6 isn't what we're loving. Oh, you guys. You guys. You're sh <sighs> we're going to just take a breather here for a second. Now we go after Ken Boy Fresh. You know, now he's the uh, the stack. Our our goal here was to get it heads up with like a nine ten to one chip advantage. That didn't happen. Um, it's pretty frustrating, right? But uh, it's very frustrating when the plan doesn't work. <laughs> you know, when the game plan falls apart and you're just kind of sitting here staring at uh now we're sitting here with all even stacks it's frustrating go ahead and make the call here let's go ahead and watch him just melt down uh we'll go ahead and take a free card ken boy i wonder if we could have gotten that uh you know gotten him away from that on the on the flop we might have but it didn't feel like it it felt like he was trying to get tricky with some sort of stupid check raise and gave us a uh, a free shot at just taking him down. So let's pot it. You know, we'll ace queen off suit, definitely at the top of our range here. This is kind of a disaster here, guys. Yeah. Disaster. We've got Wager Reno sitting here with a hand like pocket sevens, you know, and uh, just don't see it going through with it. Just don't see it going through with it. <laughs> oh, that's awful. Yeah, it was ridiculous. That was awful. Okay. Are you still? Are you done? No? I'm looking over. I don't hear you saying no, anything. No, we're not done yet. Oh, okay. Everybody's laughing. <laughs> uh, Okay, so we're sitting here with the old 7-9 off suit. We got mm -hmm. Ken Boy Fresh just making these stupid overshoves to us. Um, not playing that well, Ken Boy Fresh. You're not supposed to be attacking the drowning stack. It really sucks when I'm the drowning stack. <laughs> um, yeah, I think the, the check shove, uh, the, the shove fold charts would probably say shove there with the queen eight suited. Uh, and the small blind, but we're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. We're going to go ahead and let these fools play each other. We're trying to get it heads up at this point. Uh. <laughs> Eric Raskin says, I'm not clicking just because I jinxed it last time. We'll follow the Twitter updates. Uh, man, it's it's not going so well for us, Eric. It's not going so well, oh, you know, leader, oh, leader. Uh, this is so stupid. We got Camboy Fresh shoving here, which is just so lame. And he doesn't. He actually goes ahead and lets us shove against him. Uh, thank you for the free, uh, the the free money there, Ken Boy. Thank you for the free equity. And a six off. I think that the charts would say shove it. Wager Reno is so quick to call with his king, you know, king off, uh, whatever. Uh, learning process is about Twitch, not about the game. <laughs> What do we do here, guys? We go ahead and make the shove. It's uh, 12 big blinds. It feels like it's too much. Uh, but I don't really want to give these guys any sort of uh, illusion that they're going to have fold equity should they shove. Uh, and I don't really feel like winning a 60-40. So. Okay, guys. What do we got? 611 people at, at 3.30 in the morning. Uh, you know, if, if the Europeans are waking up at this point, 
uh, you know, uh, <laughs> bienvenue, bienvenue, mon, uh, mon amis, <laughs> welcome to the channel, um, we've got a couple of, uh, a couple of our favorite people in chat with us watching the stream, Alex Drive is the lion of poker, trying to learn a little bit about Twitch. Uh, so Alex, we are actually doing some some interesting things here on Twitch on the Dutch Boyd stream. Besides just playing a tournament, let's play a tournament. Uh, we've been doing a, a poker clinic uh, on Saturdays. Join us on Saturday to kind of see a different format. Basically, you know, putting together a little presentation PowerPoint for some poker concepts. Uh, we've also been doing HPT viewing parties, which are really cool. Uh, wow. Okay. Here we go. Come on, get through or call with threes. Uh, no, nope. we're fine with that. We've been doing some HPT viewing parties. We got uh, permission. Wow, look at this. We'll go for the, uh, who knows? You know what? Now we probably have enough where we can just go ahead and open. It's kind of a, a, kind of a weird spot. Pocket Kings, 1600. I kind of feel like, yeah, thank you, buddy. Thank you for the uh, free equity. Jesus Christ, come on. No! Oh! Still! Oh! God, it was right there. It was right there in front of us. It was right there in front of us, you guys. Donk down. God, third place. That's not what we're looking to do. We had all the chips in the whole tournament. Ah. And we just kept on losing and losing and losing those pretty critical spots. Pocket Kings against 8-7 on an 8-6-5 board with three clubs. What are the odds of us not doubling up there? Glad you asked because we're about to find out. And come on, WSOP, no congratulations. Come on, no congratulations for third. What's no third? pizza What's for third? third. Jesus Christ. 160 bucks. Uh, okay, so Pocket Kings versus the 